this video is not so much about the Atari but more about uh, quality control on my own games. While this one is booting up, let me explain a little bit what we're going to do in this video. So I've released a couple of games now and um, all right, Atari is updating and installing. I've released um, like four or five, maybe six games already on the Atari. Uh, the last game was Heroes of Loot 2 and it had a weird bug in it. Uh, two bugs. Apparently, probably, maybe. I'll get into that in a minute. Um, one of the bugs is if you run into a shop and then you try and buy the dice, every now and then it crashes. Not always, but sometimes. And we haven't figured out why yet. There's another bug, apparently, but not everybody is encountering that one. That it just crashes at a random moment in the game. And there's, again, no guideline on why or what happening or why. Or what. It, it just sometimes it crashes and that has been a bit of a problem and bugging me as well not just the game but it's been bugging me and i want to fix it now before we release another game on the atari <sighs> however there are not many debugging tools available the only way i'm gonna be able to hopefully find the problem or the cause of it is by just play testing a lot of it on the developer kit and hopefully it will then actually crash while i'm testing and hopefully it will actually give me information on the screen because without any information as to why it's crashing we're not going to be able to fix this at all um, we're not going to be able to get crash logs from players um, those type of things are just not available on the atari and that's okay i mean let's not forget that even though it has a huge name atari it's not comparable to uh, playstation nintendo or <laughs> Microsoft they are like huge freight ships and this is like a little rowing boat or a canoe or maybe just a raft tied together from some stuff that they found this was a little Kickstarter project it's amazing what they did with it it's an amazing little device and I kind of love it I like the whole community around it I just somehow need to be able to fix bugs on it and it's a bit problematic in this case they're working on updates and things like that they are very communicative about that and they are very uh, focused on solving issues like this so maybe by the time this video goes live i will have some sort of crash logs already but right now i don't have them so i need to play test and i pretty much schedule the rest of my day to do just that also uh, half of that day might go uh, into updating it this is a process that every time I boot this Atari dev kit it wants to update something I have no idea what because there's nothing really new there I think it is under the hood a Linux box so it's probably just checking all the libraries and stuff like that it doesn't have to do that but it's gonna be time-consuming so um, while this is running let's check the intro and I'll get back to you when it's all fully updated and then hopefully we'll find the bug hopefully else this if not, we'll have a good video out of it. Just no solution for the game. But, oh, we'll see. All right, so that intro for you was very quick. Um, for me, it's now 30, 40 minutes later, uh, but the Atari is fully updated and we can now actually um, get into it. And which means I now have to actually use my PC, connect to the developer kit, and then give the command to start Heroes of Loot 2. And then I'll have to play test it and hopefully it will show me information in the little console thing on my PC. Um, let's try that and let me show you how that all works out and how... So let's try that right now. Um, let me see if I can actually log in. Normally I use my MacBook for it, but I just wanted to do it from my PC. That should also work fine. I have uh, Putty, which allows me to uh, SSL into things, which doesn't work on normal Windows machines, I think. So that's why I have a tool for it. Let's try it. All right, so Putty is connected. And over here you see, it's just a Linux box, literally. So I now just have to uh, start up the game and then it will show on the Atari. This display is the Atari on the right here. This is my PC. Now this is running and I hope that if this crashes, it will show something or dump some information into this screen. Um, let's just, right now I have no idea if it will. Um, can I increase the font on this one? No, I can't. All right. Um, well, it's just, I'm just going to play a lot of game now and play sessions and hopefully it crashes. 
normally I obviously would not want it to crash um, but right now I just need to play a lot of the game and hope it does crash and, and like I said hope it gives me some information because so far I haven't been lucky now the problem is that Heroes of Loot is a let me turn down the volume is a fairly random game everything happens randomly so uh, levels are always different shop items are always different and that kind of makes it hard to debug a game um, I have gotten a lot better at doing random and procedural games since then it was, a, was one of my first ones in that regard and it I could have done a better job at it but you learn a lot when you create games like this and over time I've gotten a lot better at procedural and also making sure there are less bugs in there what I have to do now is just run around hope for the random crash I have no idea when it happens so like that could literally happen at any point um, or hope that I run into a shop and it has a die available that you can buy I'm not sure why the die keeps uh, crashing the die pretty much gives you a random item so uh, it could be that it's trying to give you an item that doesn't exist in that case it's just a simple coder solution a simple uh, solution to fix just decrease the number but we have of course tried to fix this bug already and tested a lot of stuff we uh, got a version or had a version up and running that would just literally spawn an endless amount of dice and um, none of them crashed the games so that made it even more frustrating to find the problem because when people are playing the game and they do run into that problem they actually have like they might have wasted like 15 20 minutes into the game and and run into an issue that crashes their game and that's a shame and if we then just try to fix it and it doesn't really happen uh yeah it can be frustrating and also you have to deal with players who just run into those bugs and issues and not all the players and not everybody can um, handle that in a normal way some people are very extremely rude at things like this um, you have to also be able to deal with that that's just also part of sadly part of living in this world I think and not so much doing game development but the world has gotten a bit rough around the edges here and there and it's too easy for people to just uh, be extremely rude at things and especially if you're creating stuff and people have opinions on that and if they run into issues they also have very strong opinions about it so that can be hard and I've seen a lot of uh, new developers that well run into those type of things for the first time and they cannot handle that stuff and they have a really hard time dealing with it uh, best is not to really engage those kind of people uh, just tell them in the kindest way that you're fixing it you're working on it and ignore their rudeness um, it won't help or make the world a lot better place but it will at least make you uh, deal with it a lot easier so um, yeah that's just a couple of tips and well so we can make this video actually a tip video as well um, yeah but I can also understand from people that play a game or buy a game and invest time into it running into a bug is terrible um, but on the other hand as a developer we also play a lot of games and I've played a lot of triple A games that cost a lot more than my games also took a lot more time to make and they also have bugs in it it doesn't mean you have to go crazy over it or berserk things like that just happen game are games are very uh, difficult things to create and especially uh, to create them bug free meanwhile I'm three levels into the game now and I haven't seen a store I haven't run into a crashing bug yet there are no messages on the console right let me just uh, time lapse some of the gameplay now and hopefully we'll run into it if not we'll finish up this video and uh, I hope it was interesting anyway so uh, time loop coming in now Alright, just ran into a crash and we have something here, audio, there's something with an, trying to play in certain audio sound, 
All right, we got a message on something which was pretty random. It was not the dice going bad, but it might be pointing us in the right direction. So this, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this so that we can do something with it. I kind of was just about to quit, but now I'm kind of excited that we actually got something. Um, this could be the completely random crash that people were talking about that only happens every now and then. I mean, I played like 12, 13 different levels. I actually killed and then had to play a new game and then it got pretty quickly into a bug and uh, I have to look back at the video to see what I was doing. I wasn't doing really anything weird. I think I just completed the quest and tried to go to the exit. So nothing weird happened, but we got a crash. So that's at least one thing. Now I'm still gonna try and uh, find that shop with a dice in it and hopefully it can crash there as well because there's still something there that's bugging me. But this might help us find that one as well. It might just all be linked to the same thing. We'll see. All right, a little bit of luck here. I just entered a shop that has a die in it that can be bought and it cost 116 coins. I got an amount. I'm now just hoping that it crashes if I press the X button. Please crash. I've never wanted my own game to crash this much as I want it right now. And it it does. This must be my lucky day. It actually it crashed. We this is some this is the information we need. I think we can now fix it. I hope we can now fix it. That all right, I'm, I'm nerding out a little bit here, sorry. Uh, the chance of this happening, both these things happening was just so tiny, so small. And I did it in like one and a half hour, almost two hours, almost two hours into testing all of this stuff. And I found the two problems, or I think at least, at least the dice problem is here. This was literally buying the die and it crashes. The other one, I'm fairly certain that's gonna be the random crash that everybody ran into. So hopefully with this information, we can fix it. Um, I'm sending this over to Sirius Lion, the guy on Discord who does all the porting for me to console, Switch, Atari. And I hope that with this, we can find the problem and the cause of it. And we can actually fix it. And that means we can push a new version of Heroes of Loot to the Atari. Um, possibly, perhaps, we also have to push a new version to Switch. It uses the same code base, but we never had any reports of these things crashing on the Switch. But it doesn't hurt to still update that version as well, just in case. And um, that means we can also start releasing the next game onto the Atari. I think we have Stardust ready to go and Snake Core is ready to go. So there are games coming. Um, this just needed a fix. And uh, yeah, I, I think I think we're gonna be able to fix it. I should really, before I close all of this, make sure I copy and paste this into Trello and for now into my text file so that I have them. And the thing that it crossed on, index out, out of bounds in an array. All right, but we do have a line of code where it has to, uh, where, 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 where Series Lies should be looking. So I'm just very happy with this. Um, that's also the end of this video. I know this was a little bit of a weird film. This is how we debug stuff. So I thought this could be an interesting video as well. And sometimes, or usually when I'm debugging my own game, I can do it on my PC and I can set step-by-step -step stuff and run through the code here and there. But on consoles, that's just a lot harder to do. And um, sometimes you have to figure out or just put in a lot of time to hopefully run into a solution. That's just part of game development, I guess. So. Um, Thanks for watching this video. This also means right now I'm recording this on the Monday last week. So Monday the 17th. That means the rest of the week I'll be able to work on Regulator City again. Um, can't wait to dive into that. So from Tuesday the rest of the week will be Regulator City. And that means hopefully finally next week will be a new demo of Regulator City. But also a new devlog. It's been a very long time. But it's coming. Uh, of course Heroes of Loot. I've been working on that last week and there's a new demo of that version, that game available right now. Here's Loot 3 I'm talking about. This was 2. Number 3 is coming as well. Also to the Atari eventually if the Atari is still around by then. But, uh, try that demo on Steam. Uh, both, those, both those games are in the description below. So check them out. Drop on the Discord. Don't forget to subscribe, like. i see you next week. Yes! We got it! Bye!